Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a Monday. What a privilege to be alive. What an honor to be among the living. Let's thank our daddy for the gift of today. Daddy, thank you for the gift of this Monday. Thank you that we're in the land of the living. It is your faithfulness. It is your goodness that we are alive and we say thank you. Our trust is in you. Our hope is in you. We're looking upward and we're looking into your plan and your purpose as we look into the world so we can run and run faithfully. Thank you because your plans are not hidden. You said it and we believe it that your plans are to bring, are to bring us to an expected end. So shall it be today in Jesus name. Amen. Glory to God. We are in our month of provision, divine provision. We are in the month where um, we are seeing our Father as Jehovah Jireh, the one that sees ahead of time and makes provision. Amen. It's very important to know that we are in a world where people are trying to make our daddy look like who he's not. He's not a taker. He's not the one that pulls your resources from you. He's the one that's looking for ways to give to you. We need to get to that point where we renew our mind and be patient enough to receive from him. This week, we're going to focus on how people responded in the word of God when such a word came to them. You're receiving a word during this month about daddy being your provider or your provision. The question is, how are you going to receive this word? The way, the heart, the manner with which you receive this word will determine if at the end of this month, you say of a truth is my chariot or not. Throughout scriptures, you will see that from time to time, the Lord will come and he will provide for his people. For example, let's start in the garden. Adam and Eve, he provided everything for Adam and Eve. They receive it, but then the tempter came and tempted them. He asked Eve, did God say? You see that? It is always subtle the way the enemy will come to take what daddy has already provided. It requires us to be diligent in prayer. It requires us to know his character from the word so that we will not be misled, so that we will not be pulled apart by his craftiness. You know, he doesn't have power. The enemy is powerless, but he's very crafty. He knows how to put his things together and pull and take from us. But guess what? The Bible says, what? The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty to the pulling down of every stronghold that the enemy might want to bring your way. What are we saying? Speak what daddy is saying with your mouth. Believe that he's your provider. Believe it without beyond all doubt and say it with your mouth that daddy is my provider that's the first step of receiving anything from the lord believing it and saying it with your mouth when you believe it then you say it that's the first active step of faith believing it means you, you say it's mine you make it yours is the basic when you begin to say with your mouth what you believe in your heart then you begin to see manifestation. A prayer for you today is that as contrary to what Adam and Eve did, you will begin to say what the Lord has said. Don't, don't agree with those suggestions in your mind that are saying, is it really provision month? Um, I'm not seeing provision in this area or that area yet. Say it with your mouth and say yet. Every time the enemy said, oh, you not say yet. I will see it because my father has said it. I have the victory. I believe that my father has my provision. So I am not going to be moved by what you are saying and what you're doing. Talk back to the devil. If he's bold enough to question God's provision for your life,
you need to be more bolder and to tell him and and inform him and reinforce the fact that this is your month of provision by speaking it with your mouth by giving voice to it glory to god yes you know we are family that knows um the we know we are spiritually intelligent we know what we ought to do in this season if there's one focus this month is focus on the word studying the word study the word concerning provision and speak it with your mouth and watch it come to pass today we're studying the book of samuel first samuel chapter one study first samuel chapter one and make sure that you don't just read but study to the point of revelation and share with other people glory to god amen and amen